from the gun. Looks, Bradford throws, caught in stride. McKinnon takes it in. Touchdown, Vikings. Portal dropping to throw. He's going to scramble out of there. He's going to run for it. He's going to have it to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Blake Portal's into the end zone. Touchdown. The Vikings and the Jags coming up this weekend. Greg Rosenthal here with Colleen Wolf. Now the Vikings, they're trying to catch the Lions in the yes. division. Their offense has been sputtering, but that defense, that can win them games. People have given up on the, the Vikings. Let's face it. Mm-hmm. You've given up on them. I have not been as strong. You know, we've chosen we chose them as our team of around the NFL on our podcast. They've all given up on them. I think this team can still go it. I still what? go to the playoffs. I have not given up on them. No? This performance... On Thursday night against the Cowboys was right there with the best defensive performances by any team all season. When you shut down the Cowboys to 264 yards in 13 drives, you force a fumble from Dak Prescott, you get after him. This defense can win them games, and their guys are peaking, I think, at the right time. Linval, Joseph, Harrison Smith, this whole group can carry them. Well, that works out well because the Jags have a lot of turnovers. So (laughs) this defense, I mean, they can score a ton of points off turnovers too. The defense has to win them games alone because that's how bad Sam Bradford and, you know, the offense has been Mm -hmm. lately, but they can. I think they can do it. Let's talk about Sam Bradford and how we feel about him because, I mean, if we were on Facebook, our relationship with him would be it's complicated. It it is complicated. Well, you know, you followed him with your Eagles career. I don't know. Did you want him to succeed? Uh, in Minnesota, well, I never want, want to see. I never want to see a guy fail. And when I watched the first couple games, it looked like yeah. he was doing well. So yeah. I, I, I sort of was like, okay, that's nice for him. But why wasn't it working in Philly? <laughs> now we're seeing a little bit more. But does he get too much heat? Right, is we're it not unfair. He doesn't have a chance, and this is why it's complicated. I never had much faith in him before this year. I think he's played his best season this season. I kind of want to. I just want to say over and over again, it's it's not your fault. You well, know? the it's offensive not your line fault. is not and, you know, doing maybe him Maybe give him any a hug favors. or something. It's not his fault this year. He's playing well. Should we send him a letter? Maybe we'll write him out sure. a letter. I think that might help him. But there's a ton. I mean, his receivers are dropping passes. Guys are running wrong routes. There's a lot of different things going it's on. The worst, the worst offensive tackles I can remember seeing. Yeah, and so you have Mike Zimmer, who will be back for this game. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I, I wonder... Mm. How maybe maybe they'll rally around. They see Mike Zimmer is going through some stuff right now. He had to have emergency eye surgery. I don't know how much that plays into it, but still, they want that division. I think their defense rallied for him last week. That performance. I know they didn't win the game, but the defense. I think those are his guys. That I think that's the type of effort. That's the type of performance you'll see. Well, the Jags. Uh, same story with them. The offense is is really struggling, but the defense has been playing lights out. That, that's the crazy, sad thing about this Gus Bradley tenure, which is about to end. Mm-hmm. He's a defensive coach. He's been given a long time to turn things around. I would say the last five or six weeks, it, it took a while. They've turned it around. You've kind of saw his vision come to life. Uh-huh. Telvin Smith. Uh, Malik Jackson, who had an incredible game against his old team. All of it really reminds me of a a defense, a young defense, kind of like in Seattle that's coming together. And now they're going to get rid of them and maybe change the whole system. And that's why bad teams stay bad. And that's sad. That's sad for the defense and the players, too. Not saying he should keep his job because he clearly can't fix the offense, but it's sad. Okay, so you're you're taking them in this game, right? The Jags, just because you feel really bad for Gus Bradley. Okay, Blake Bortles is not scoring more than 13 points against this Vikings defense. Okay, well I'm with you on that. I'm taking the Vikings too. We will see if the Vikings win come Sunday. That's a 1 p.m. start.